Hello YouTube, today we're going to be going over some binomial distribution and normal approximation examples, just two of them, uh, just to get the basic concept and understanding um, and going through some quick practice problems. So, here's a problem. In the United States, 44% of the population has type O blood. Suppose a random sample of 12 people are taken. Find the probability that 6 of the people will have type O blood and 6 will not. So we're going to be using a binomial distribution formula to figure this out. So we're going to let uh, capital X, I put it looks like kind of like Roman numeral 10, uh, equal the number of people with type O blood. So you define your variable, and that's going to be for later. Um, and this is just the formula for the binomial distribution. It's pretty much the number of combinations times the probability of your success raised to the power of k um, times the probability of failure raised to the power of n minus k. Um, so if we say that x is the number of people with O blood and we want 6 of them, then x will have to equal 6. And our possible combinations would be 12 over 12 choose 6, and that's where that upper right corner, that formula for a combination formula is distributed there. Um, and then you get the probability of success, in this case is getting type O blood, which is 44%, so you convert that to decimal, raised to the 6th power because 6 people uh, is what we want to have, and then the failure, so um, not getting a type O blood would be 56%, or 1 minus 0.44, raised to the 6 power as well, which is 12 minus 6. That's how we got that number there. So then, you plug that in your calculator and you get uh, it's 20.68%, or 0 0.2068. So now for part B, for our normal approximations, there's some formulas we're going to have to go over here. Uh, the mean is n times p, and if you simply do n is the sample and p is the probability of getting that sample, so the mean of, of a 12 sample with a 44% chance is 5.28. And our standard deviation also has a formula for our sample, which is the square root of npq. Now q is just 1 minus p, or the probability of failure in this case. So you would do the sample size times probability of getting type O blood times the probability of not getting type O blood, and you take the square root of that, and you get 1.72. So that's our sample standard deviation. And now we're going to have to use um, our Z values um, for later. So the probability of getting uh, six type O bloods using the normal approximation, uh, you pretty much have to um, do the outline, which is you always have to do like plus or minus one half uh, to get that range of error sort of thing. So it would be um, between five and or so you're at six. So you have to go minus 0.5 from six and plus 0.5 from six. So it'd be minus 0.5 from six would be 5.5, and then if you add 0.5 to six would be 6.5. So then you want to convert that to your um, z value, and you simply do 5.5. I should probably have shown that work, but 5.5 minus the mean, which is 5.28, over the standard deviation, which is 1.72. Just follow that formula in purple there. Um, and then you get these two values accordingly. So you first use 5.5, and then you use 6.5 for your y, and then you simply plug it in. And then once you get those values, you look at your z table and chart, and you get 0.2063. I'm kind of assuming that you guys know how to do z values. Um, in terms of solving these problems, um, but again, 20.63% would be uh, using a normal approximation. So now, we'll go to another example. You toss a fair coin 20 times, what's the probability that the 10 tosses will fall heads and 10 will fall tails? So we'll do the same thing, so A was finding our binomial distribution, I won't write the formula again, but I'll just uh, define our variable first, so I'll say H is number of heads, so the probability of getting six heads, which is also the probability of, I guess you could say, getting, well, never mind. Um, so, same thing, combination, 20 choose 10, times the probability of getting a head, which is 1 half, uh, raised to the 10th power, times the probability of not getting a head, or failure, or, or tails, which is 1 half as well, and 20 minus 10 is 10, so it's raised to the 10th power. So, that equals 0.1762, which is 17.62%. Now we'll do the same thing with the normal approximation, same formula, mean is n times p, or sample size times the probability of success. Our sample size is 20, and where probability is 1 half, so our mean is 10. 
So our standard deviation it would be it's a sample size 20 times 1 half times the probability of failure, which is also 1 half, and you take the square root. And you get 2.2361, and that's our uh, standard deviation. So now, again, with that, um, for the normal approximation, you have to do plus or minus 5 from the actual value. Um, so you would end up getting plus or minus 5 since that's the probability of getting heads or tails and you divide that by the standard deviation to get your z values. Um, that would be your z value which is plus or minus 0.22. Simply use the out or show your formula or how it's written, kind of write it out. And then you look at your z table chart and you find out that the probability of getting between these two would be 17.42%. So I hope that helps in terms of practicing. Uh, again, philosophy, practice makes perfect. The more you do at it, the uh, more you practice, the better you will be when it comes to solving problems such as these. So good luck.